Hello my friends. This cart full of fruits and vegetables is the result of the farmer's labor throughout the season. How hard did they work to turn the fields into these characteristic strips of color? The answer will be in today's video. And now, let's follow the journey of American people harvesting millions of tons of agricultural products in 2024. First, let's go to the zucchini fields. In peak warm conditions, zucchini will begin to sprout and grow leaves within 7 to 14 days. About 6 weeks after the bright yellow flowers are pollinated by bees. To get lush zucchini fruits like these, farmers often mix manure or compost into the soil before planting. This will support the early stages of plant growth. Most varieties take an average of 60 days to mature and are ready as soon as a week after flowering. Zucchini should be harvested in the summer when they are still tender and slightly immature and are 6 to 8 inches long. Farmers often cut the fruit from the tree with a sharp knife. Because of this, they can leave about 1 inch of fruit stem, making it easier to preserve without damaging the plant's soft stem. If the harvest is at its peak, farmers will prioritize removing large zucchini fruits to reduce the plant's need for moisture and nutrients. At the same time, farmers try to complete the harvest before the first fall frost, because summer zucchini is very vulnerable to frost and heat. Besides, unpicked zucchini will grow surprisingly quickly, within a 24-hour period. If you don't check the plant daily during harvest, Looking under large leaves for hidden fruit, zucchini can get huge. When the fruit gets too large, the seeds and skin begin to harden, making the fruit tough and unpalatable. Pick zucchini regularly, every day or every other day in warm weather. This will stimulate new blooms and farmers will have a continuous harvest throughout the growing season. Zucchini is a popular summer squash grown throughout Indiana and the United States. On average, there are about 7,500 to 11,000 trees per hectare. Farmers only harvest fruit weighing approximately 0.25 to 0.5 pound. Zucchini pickers will use carts and wear soft gloves to avoid bruises, scratches and nail punctures. During the process of cutting zucchini from the tree, farmers also remove oversized zucchini fruits to maintain the plant's vitality. This man is pouring freshly picked zucchini into water, which they rinse to remove dirt and lower their temperature. Immediately after, they are packed into boxes and transported to local markets. After leaving the field, these crates of zucchini are taken to the factory, where they are cleaned again. Then, these workers will package and preserve to ensure supply to the market. Farmers say from planting to first harvest of zucchini is 40 to 55 days, while the entire harvest cycle takes 120 to 150 days. Goodbye zucchini, let's go to California where nearly 92% of the broccoli grown in the US is produced. California is also home to 15 to 20% of fresh broccoli production on the market. Farmers find that one of the signs that broccoli is ready to harvest is when it is dark green with small tight buds. Farmers will harvest broccoli immediately if it begins to flower or turn yellow like this. However, Broccoli will not bloom all at once, so farmers will harvest head of broccoli to avoid bitterness. The growing side shoots are capable of forming more open or flared tips than the middle stem, and of course they are equally delicious. After a while, farmers will return to harvesting the side shoots when they reach the ideal color and firmness. Heat waves lasting more than a week will cause the plant to flower quickly. So, during that period, farmers will have to observe the plants carefully and prepare to harvest immediately. 
After wearing protective hats and jackets, these farmers started their day working with broccoli. Experienced farmers often choose to harvest in the morning before the soil warms up, so broccoli has the best flavour. Tools are usually scissors or sharp knives to avoid damaging the tree trunk. The worker took the head of the broccoli plant with one hand while using the other hand, he stabbed a short knife and pulled it downward, cutting the leaves off the stem. Then the farmer used a horizontal knife to cut the tip of the tree, leaving only a moderate length. Depending on the farmer's quick judgment, the next closest broccoli is ready to cut immediately. You see, each cut takes about 3 seconds. An average of 8 hours a day, farmers can cut 11,000 heads of broccoli. The broccoli stem will be cut to the appropriate length for the customer. Farmers say the common stem length is usually 1 to 2 inches. And of course, long stems will bring higher yields to growers. Some farmers use highly specialized teams to harvest broccoli and mechanized harvesting equipment for grading and canning. Profitability depends on developing an efficient method for harvesting. So harvesting is one of the biggest production costs. However, the supporting conveyor system allows workers to pick continuously, helping to triple labor efficiency. Field packed broccoli must be delivered to the cooling facility promptly. At summer harvest temperatures, quality can decline significantly in as little as one hour. Now we come to a warm season crop that comes in a variety of colors, shapes and sizes. The popularity of bell peppers has helped them become a profitable business option for any commercial or home farm. The total US bell pepper harvest is approximately 40,900 to 62,080 acres. Among them, California and Florida are the two leading states in bell pepper production in the United States. Florida bell peppers are grown by farmers in the fields from October to July to ensure they are available on the market year round. Popular varieties of bell peppers used for commercial production include Aladdin, Aristotle and Brigadier. Typically, you can expect a healthy crop within 11 weeks of planting. Their health benefits also increase as they will also contain more vitamin C as they mature. Many bell peppers that mature on the plant will turn red or yellow. Farmers can use scissors or a sharp knife to cut bell peppers directly from the plant without causing damage. This is a bell pepper harvest in a field in Gilroy, California. Farmers are walking along mechanized lines to pick peppers by hand. Once the bell peppers are harvested, the process is not over. In fact, it's just begun. Bell peppers will continue to ripen even after being picked. So farmers must take care to cool them and store them properly so they don't overcook before hitting the shelves. Once they leave the field, bell peppers are quickly transported to processing plants. Here, they are processed to remove dirt from the fields before being put into packaging or other product processing stages. From harvest to consumption, bell peppers have a shelf life of approximately 2 to 3 weeks if stored at 40 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Because bell peppers are so sensitive and easily damaged, any gaps between storage bins are filled with items such as pallets or other packages to prevent spillage or tipping. They are finally placed into temperature controlled trucks or refrigerated containers in trucks for delivery to stores as quickly as possible. In addition to bell peppers, carrots are also crops grown and transported year-round in California, with four main production regions. California produces more than 85% of all carrots grown in the United States. Michigan and Texas are other important carrot-producing states. According to the US Department of Agriculture, in recent years, carrots ranked 17th in California's top 20 livestock and daily crops, 
worth about $500 million. Carrots are usually ready to harvest about 90 days after sowing the seeds. These farmers are harvesting. Now the carrot roots are a good size and still soft. The farmer pulled gently to lift the roots out of the ground. After cutting off the tops, carrots can be stored with the remaining soil on them or washed and allowed to dry briefly before storing. Normally when harvesting by hand, farmers will choose cool days to avoid the roots from overheating in the sun. After observing the crops, farmers realized that carrot roots were quite sensitive to soil compaction. Specifically, in areas where the wheel passes through the ground, tree roots are often difficult to stick down. This also reduces the yield of carrots. Therefore, in the first three to four weeks, farmers often limit moving equipment into carrot fields. This is a farmer's machine harvesting session. The harvester loosens the soil, then gently pulls the carrots out of the ground. The knives cut off the tops of the carrots as they move inside the machine. The tops are discarded to the back of the machine while the carrots move on a conveyor belt and are dumped into trucks. Everything was much easier. In just a few seconds, the carrots were pulled out of the ground. Carrot harvesters help farmers reduce labor and save time compared to harvesting by hand. Farmers can focus on other farm tasks. Besides, it also ensures that the carrots are harvested properly and are not damaged. This helps improve the quality of the final product and optimize farmers' profits. These carrots will be treated in water to remove sand and soil, then go through cleaning and packaging processes. Now we come to peas the second most valuable canned food after tomatoes in the United States. When the warm breeze of spring gradually dispels the harshness of winter, that's when you see farmers in Montana starting to plant peas. Peas are cool weather plants, meaning they thrive in the spring and fall months. Seeds can be sown outdoors four to six weeks before the last spring frost. Farmers typically plant when the average air temperature is 75 degrees or cooler. Peas can usually be harvested 12 to 15 weeks after planting. Farmers are starting to collect peas when their pods become plump yet glossy and filled with sweet tasting beans. In the morning, after the dew has dried, the peas are at their crispiest. This is the right time for farmers to harvest harvesting machines began to roll. It allows farmers to harvest more quickly and effectively because the yield is still guaranteed. Most peas growers will choose semi-leafless varieties as they are better able to grow, especially in dry areas. While in regions with higher rainfall and cool summers, short vining varieties are the best choice. Mature peas plants can wither very quickly if the weather is warm and dry. Harvesting too late and seeds that are too dry will easily break or peel off the seed coat, leading to loss and increasing the risk of poor quality seeds. Therefore, for dry peas fields, farmers will harvest in moist conditions, such as at night or early in the morning, when the pods are still wet from dew to minimize seed breakage. Peas farms in eastern Washington are starting to harvest. Here, farmers rotate the peas crop every year, continuously pick fruit to encourage more growth. Peas grown on the farm and delivered to consumers within hours of picking are truly the gems of the garden. Have you ever tasted such fresh beans? Please comment below to let me know your experience. Goodbye peas, let's go to the lettuce fields. This vegetable is among the top six commodities that account for the majority of the United States fresh vegetable area with 375,000 acres. Although lettuce is produced in many states, California and Arizona dominate production. 
California accounts for 71% of US lettuce production, followed by Arizona, which produces nearly 29%. Farmers grow and harvest lettuce year-round to sell to packaged salad companies, supermarket chains, and food service companies. On this one hectare field, farmers have planted about 52,000 lettuce plants, with an average yield of 25 to 40 tons high. Similar to peas, the ideal time to harvest lettuce is early in the morning before sunrise. According to some lettuce farmers, this time of day is perfect because the lettuce plants are not exposed to harsh sunlight. Although technological development has helped a lot, bringing lettuce from field to table still depends largely on manual labor. Farmers stand in the machine's aisle, use their hands to pick up the top part of the lettuce, gently push it aside, chop off the stem, then skillfully pound on the core, shake off the outer leaves, and finally throw them on the conveyor belt. The Yuma Valley grows on more than 90,000 acres of land, accounting for 90% of America's greens during the winter months. Farms in Yuma grow large amounts of lettuce to distribute about half a billion heads of lettuce each year. This is the 55th day of the harvest season. A busy atmosphere covers the entire field. About 32 farmers were cutting lettuce, bagging, labeling, and a team of drivers who accompanied each other for hours. This is a lettuce harvester equipped with high technology. It can turn green fields into neatly stacked boxes. You can also see it leaves lettuce leaves scattered on the ground, looking like a tornado just passed through the field. But we cannot deny its benefits. With the support of machinery, farmers can pack about 1,500 boxes every day, equivalent to about 63,000 lettuce plants.